Lock and load, brother. Lock and load. Are we ready to rumble? If the gears the turn, turn it to blow in a moment, in a moment, oh. And if the world starts to wear, on my hands a hold. I consider myself a pop artist. I consider myself playing around with popular culture. It ties itself into my visual arts, but it also ties into these, well, for want of a better term, I'll call them writings. Well, this piece of writing has begun with, I am part of all that I have journeyed. Right, so now I'm just gonna find things that I, I think tie into this concept of, of my journey. Needed a restock. It's like a bespoke and curated tour of my happy places, steeped in nostalgia with a dash of kitsch. When I started doing it, I found it was fun. That was it. When I was a kid, trolls lived under bridges. Now they live behind keyboards and reign in the gutters of social media. And I really enjoyed cutting things out of magazines, taking other people's words and twisting and turning them around to create my own works. I began to explore it in themes, things like my art process, my growing old, or uh, my suburban existence was another theme. And I would just piece it together along an idea that being kicked off by a certain word or a certain statement or a certain sentence that I've cut out. Uh, something about a shock. You know, I was shocked at, I don't know yet. I'll just see what. You with me on this? and it really does tie into what I'm painting. It helps me contemplate, for instance, this new body of work that is all about this writing, but applied in a visual sense. I had a totally achievable bucket list, but I seem to have misplaced my bucket. Oh, hang on. It's over there next to my keys. So that whole concept of, oh, you know, cut and paste, cut and paste, cut and paste, well, I am cutting and I am pasting, but I'm doing it old school. And by doing that, this sort of allows me time to contemplate, it allows me to work out how to tie it into my work. It allows me this concept of playing around with popular culture. And then growing old. Was that it? I think it was. I had prepared myself for something a little bigger. That is all about this ageing gig we've got going. This whole homage that our society has to rookies. Anyone with a, a little bit of age is just gone. Nice. So part of all that I have journeyed in, I took up boot scooting, baby. Boot scooting to sure. Even though I consider these poems quite beautiful looking when I finish them, I think that their, their role is to be a catalyst into my visual artworks. It would be most interesting to see, you know, what people react to this latest body of work. This whole concept of my search for identity, my search for identity in today's day and age, at my age. Yeah, I, I'm starting to get a little bit panicky about the exhibition in terms of uh, you know, I've been waking up at night going, oh my God, I've got to do invitations, I've got to get the booze organised, you know, music, all of this stuff. And yet, all I want to do is keep painting. There's white on white, mate. You can't get much better than that, son. I'm, th I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Spread.